my friends, and welcome back for episode 2 of our Let's Play Starbound series. Today we have, yet again, a few goals that we're going to try our best to knock out and uh, have some fun along the way. So I'm going to jump right in today without dawdling and wasting too much time. We're going to get familiar with Mr. Banana Man here, my faithful compadre. Our goals for today are relatively simple. Uh, goal number one is going to be to continue questing here. I believe we were on tutorial number four. Yeah, which is the food fight one where we're going to go hunting. And that actually takes us to our next goal, which is going to be to hunt and cook some food. And if you don't know, you do that with the bow here or the spear. We'll be demonstrating how that works. And finally, our third goal is going to be don't die, Banana Man. Do not die. Which might be easier said than done, but we're going to try our best to keep our HP high and we're going to play as conservatively as possible. Um, with, you know, obviously we're going to have to make lots of bandages, which I have eight on me now. That should be good, I hope. Uh, but that's uh, goal number three is uh, don't die reasonable enough. So let's get her done. Beaming back down to the planet. This planet, as I recall from last time, was fairly hostile, so I'm going to have to be careful here. There's already some googlies uh, approaching, and they're kind of small. Yeah, they're aggressive. They already saw me, and they're going to want to chew on me. Um, they're kind of small, so they're hard to hit this bow. Uh, He's, yeah, he's already only 66%. The thing with the bow is that it does flash at one point where you get a solid shot off. I'm not sure if that's a crit or what. Um, but obviously you want to make sure to try and hit whenever it flashes. Um, or else your shots won't be as potent. Might not even be worth shooting, I, I'm not sure. Uh, the specifics, but there's one down. Looks like that didn't give us any meat though, unfortunately. 35 pixels, which isn't too bad, but um, not very good as far as, well, meat. We wanted food from that, so which we didn't get. So um, It looks like with our bow that we're not going to be able to get meat from those guys, so we'll have to look for something else. Keep going down here. Oh, I see some kind of a Looks like a monkey or something up there. I don't know what that is. But that would definitely have some meat, I would imagine. Did I bring my bricks with me? My dirt blocks? Yeah, okay, good. So I'm gonna need to make a stepping stone here. Can't quite get up there. A little bit more. Wow, used it all up already, okay. Okay, let's see if I can pick this guy off at a distance without getting too close and get good with that flashing thing. It's tough because you want to look at what you're shooting at, but at the same time you got to watch your bow to see when it flashes. There's some meat. Alright, so if I can get back to the ship with that and cook it, there's goal number one. Done already and we're what? Not even four minutes in, so off to a good start. Might as well... Um, Harvest some trees here. We can make red dye now, which is cool. Bring home the wood. This wasn't really part of our goals, but you can never have enough wood. As with most of these survival type games, um, wood is always in short supply, so. Stock up on it while you can. So I'm just going to grab these last three trees here. Um, I suppose I could drop down some saplings too so that they're readily available for next time we beam down to this planet. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be a bad thing to think ahead. Pretty sure I have those saplings on me. I don't know why I would have put them in the locker. Do I have them on me? Yeah, I do. So I've got... Are those the same kinds? Well, they must be different because I can't combine them. So two different kinds of saplings here. Let's 
Too bad they don't identify what tree that makes. Simple roots. A sapling from simple roots, a tree will grow. What kind of tree, though? That's what we want to know. Is it going to be one of these big mamma jammas or something more oaky? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, I, as far as I know, there's nothing you can really do with these saplings other than plant them. So... There's kind of no point of having them on me. I might as well get them in the ground and have them start growing and that way there'll be a nice stockpile of wood here if ever I need it. Nice part is you can just hold down the button here. You don't have to keep clicking and it'll drop them all on the available spots. Now, as far as um, putting them too close together and then they don't grow, I'm not sure if that's a thing or not. Um, but they'll grow, you know, eventually one after the other. It comes down to it. So we got some meat. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more, maybe doing a bit of exploring. I know that as well wasn't part of our goals, but usually, as I said in the last episode, there are um, bases here. That's a hell of a drop, which I don't know if I want to take a chance on. I'm not going to take any chances. We're playing conservatively. It's um, possible that the, the base, as I was saying, uh, is over there. Could very well be. But let's go look on this side instead. Where's my weapon? What is that thing? Well, whatever it was, I just shot it. Okay, so these monkey guys are hostile as well, but they do give meat, so I'm going to take the time to, to uh, hunt him. Bring home. Whoa, he's a jumper. He is a jumper. He's a heck of a jumper, actually. So is his little slimy friend. Where'd you go, buddy? Where did you go? Shed some light on the situation here. Shoot him. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, he's... Maybe I'm not shooting as hard as the last time, but it seems like he has more health. Probably just me. So as I said, the bow does take some getting used to. It does take some practice, knowing when to fire whenever it flashes, so you do the most amount of damage possible. And then obviously you want to... You, like I said, you're looking at what you're shooting, you're not really looking at your bow, so it takes a little bit of uh, coordination and you know, you gotta use your peripheral vision. So there's another piece of meat. More steak, and haven't taken any hits yet, which is good. So, I'm just gonna do a little bit more exploring, and then I'm gonna head back to the ship, do some cooking. And that'll complete uh, tutorial quest number four. I'm gonna need some torches eventually too. It's pretty dark down here. There's another one of those little... I don't even know what you call them. Treasure chests? No, it's not really a chest, but it's kind of a treasure container of sorts. Um, and uh, like I was saying in, in the other episode, uh, these can give you a buff or a debuff. So let's see. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 90 pixels, 91. So it wasn't really a buff, but you know, it could be a bonus, could be uh, a detriment. In that case, it was uh, a heck of a bonus. We're up to 166 pixels now, which is great. That thing there does not look friendly, but let's see. Nope, it's not. So far, nothing on this planet has been friendly. Um, and I'm not going to ruin my... Perfect streak! Oh, I was going to say, I'm not going to ruin my perfect streak of no damage, but that's too late. Might as well take him out at this point. I was going to just go back to the ship, but now I need me some vengeance. And I really don't want to die. And it looks like I might. Yeah, I died. Oh, silly me, silly me. Well, we can scrap that third goal. I should have went back. 30% of our pixels lost. So 
far as I know, you can't get those back by returning. I mean, I could go back and check, but for 30%, I'm going to leave it be. All right, failed goal number three. Check mark on goal number one, but fail on three. Or sorry, uh, check mark on goal two. Continue questing is going to be a no-brainer, so we're going to have two out of three for our goals today. You know, it is what it is. Told myself I wouldn't take any chances, but for anybody who watches my channel, you know that I say that all the time, but yet I, I, I always take chances anyway. Silly, silly chances, silly risks. And I know nothing ventured, nothing gained, but there is something to be said about being more careful. So quest complete. Tutorial number four, food fight done. Delicious. I'm sure I can cook some even tastier dishes once I find better ingredients. Maybe I should craft a hoe and find some seeds I can plant. Whoops, I just ate that and I didn't want to do that. Okay, so we get a bonus of 10 pixels for that. Can't drop this right now, kind of awkward. Here's uh, tutorial number five, out of the frying pan. To make more advanced items, I'll need to craft a stone furnace using the crafting table. With a stone furnace, I'll be able to smelt raw ores into refined metal bars. Sounds good to me. Let's put that away. So the, the food, uh, as you can see, it does fill up your health, and it also gives you, give you a buff. Oh no, that's a debuff, so you can't use food uh, repeatedly. You have to wait till the debuff goes away, and then you can use another piece. So in comparison to the bandages, it gives quite a bit more health with only one piece. So that's good to know. Um, do I have the stone to make my furnace here? I'm not sure. Where is the furnace? Um, probably passed right over it. Furnace, 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 furnace. Maybe I need to I need to make bricks first before I make the furnace. I don't I don't know, I don't see it. Windows blinds, campfire. Oh here it is, stone furnace. Okay, so cobblestone works fine. Um, I need a campfire. Which I already made one, but I'm going to need that to make the furnace. So I made that, and I'll just need a little bit more stone, and then we'll be in good shape to make our furnace here and keep on questing. So, back down we go. I have to make sure I have my weapon handy this time. That was really unfortunate. Then again, it didn't really have much to do with fortune or luck. That was just me pushing it too far. As always, what was that? Some coal. Huh, interesting. Lots of baddies coming at me. I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to get this cobblestone, which is really what I need. Um, yeah, let's get this going here. You see, if I would have been playing on hardcore, that would have been the end of Banana Man yet again. So I'm kind of glad I'm playing on normal right now so that we can continue on with our adventure. Uh, I'm also in the process of um, coming out with a few more episodes from my Let's Play Minecraft series, uh, which is Skyblock 3.0 Hardcore. And, um, you know, that being hardcore, it's I've had to start over I don't even know how many times at this point. <laughs> dozens and dozens of times before I had, you know, a decent episode that I could uh, that I could upload, so I did that last night it went uh, relatively well, other than having to start over, you know, multiple times um, where was I going with this? hey, I got some meat from just shooting him interesting so what's the point of the bow then? I wonder Harvest meat and other goods from monsters, so then... Huh, so I guess meat has a chance of dropping from anything now when you shoot it? I, I don't really know how that works. Anybody out there understands the difference between a ranged weapon that I have, such as this Red Rider, or 
the bow, I don't really see the difference if you can get meat from just shooting stuff. Which this obviously does way more damage, right? 7.2 DPS versus... I don't even know. This is base max damage 5. So... Clearly the... Uh, Two-hander does more damage, I would think. Takes more energy, though. So you have to be careful with your shots. Anyway. Um, yeah, as I was saying with my Let's Play Minecraft series, uh, because it's on Hardcore, every time I fail, I, don't, I obviously don't upload those. I obviously don't upload those uh, failed attempts, other than my first episode, because that was just funny. Um, I finally had a good run yesterday, um, played for about three hours, and I'll be uploading that eventually as well. Obviously split up into uh, smaller, more digestible episodes, because three, a three-hour run on a Let's Play would just be torturous. So I'm going to split those up into probably 20-minute episodes and uh, upload those eventually. Got off to a really good start, and uh, anyway, I don't want to spend this whole episode talking about another uh, series, so let's uh, keep our mind focused on Starbound here today. And I think I have enough cobblestone now, so I'll grab a couple more pieces just for good measure. And again, if you missed it last time, uh, you right-click to do the background, left-click to do the foreground, to mine the foreground, I should say. That should be enough. Let's go back and see. I think I picked up like what, 57? Co yeah, 57 cobblestone there. That's that should be plenty. Got my fire. Got my cobblestone. Let's make um, a furnace if I can find it again. <laughs> I don't know why I have so much trouble finding this thing in the list here. There it is, stone furnace. And that will complete our fifth quest. Tutorial number five, out of the frying pan complete. Awesome, time to play with fire. This should work for most basic metals like copper and iron, which I should be able to use to build a more advanced furnace later. So I did see iron furnace in the list there. Didn't see copper furnace, but that's obviously a thing as well. 10 pixels. And here we have tutorial number six, tools for the job. I'm going to need better equipment if I'm going to survive down here. I should start by making use of a furnace and smelting some iron ore to, to obtain an iron bar. The deeper underground I go, the more likely I am to find ore. Okay. The thing with um, going deep, yes, you will encounter more ore, um, but you encounter more dangers, obviously, as well. So I think that's a good place to stop, folks. Um, I like, like you saw, I did screw up on goal number three, but uh, goal number uh, one and two are complete. So I'm going to call it there. Uh, thank you for joining and watching, and I uh, hope that you'll join me again next time for episode number three, when we will continue on with our goals and make some more progress in our beautiful Starbound world with our beautiful character, Mr. Banana Man. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.